Okay. Well, there's a massive delay, but we'll just go from there. Um, so, hello. There's a massive delay in this. I don't know why. So, well, we'll just, it doesn't matter, it's just a delay, but we've got it working. That's the most important thing. So, hello and welcome to Dawn of Comics. It's my first live stream, as you can probably tell, it's not going well. <laughs> I just want to go through my comic cards. Um, I started collecting comic cards, jeez, years and years back. Um, it was hard to get them over here. We, well, I didn't have a comic shop near me. And what I used to do is I used to get a, a um, an X-Men magazine or comic once a month and sometimes they'd come with a pack of trading cards sellotaped to the cover. So I would get a couple of those just to get the different trading card packs. So um, that's how I started. Um, this isn't the set that I started collecting. This is actually two sets. I don't know if you can see. Some are shiny and some are not shiny. I've got the entire set of the non-shinies. I'm going to take one out and just have a look. So these are the uh, 90, 1996 Flare X-Men cards. I've got the entire set of these. But for the Flare Ultra, if you can see, I've only got some of them. So what I've done is I've just overlapped them and have the nice shiny one on top. But... Um, the ones we used to get on the pack are not in this are not in this binder. They're in another binder which we'll get to later. But so what I used to do to get trading cards, like to get um the Marvel Masterpieces, at my local swimming pool. At my local swimming pool we had a um a vending machine that used to sell trading cards. I know, completely random. But um it's the only way I could get trading cards. So I didn't have any any shops near me and I was too young to venture into London and go do it. So I used to go to my local swimming pool whenever I had money and just go into the vending machine and buy a couple of packs. But yeah, these these are great. I love the cartoony style of these ones. Um, when I first started collecting these, I did collect a few of the shinies first. I didn't even know they were two separate sets. I thought you just had some shiny editions and some non-shinies. But these are awesome, I don't know. Might be a little bit bright. Is it a bit bright? Can I... The shiny might be reflecting the light a bit much. But these are great. I mean, Rogue is my all-time favourite. Can we see Rogue? Yeah, she's my favourite X-Man. I just have to take this out because it's just her full face. And it's absolutely beautiful on either card. I think I do prefer it slightly more for the non-shiny version. But they're gorgeous. She's lovely. So I have, like I say, I have the full set of the non-shinies and then just some of the shinies that I've just overlaid. These, yeah, these are pretty good. They're, they're very cartoony though. Um, they, they look like they're all done by the same person. The style is very much the X-Men cartoon, I would say, if I had to put them in any particular genre or theme. I have a Deadpool. I have a double of that Deadpool. I quite like that. It's quite an early Deadpool. What, cause when was this? 96? Yeah, so quite an early Deadpool there. That's cool. So some of them as well, I didn't mention. Some of the shinies, I, um, I don't have any of these, but some of the shinies have a signature, have the artist signature. Joe Cooper, Joe Kubert even, there's a T at the end there. So yeah, Joe Kubert's the artist, he does the pencils. He's, ah, they, he, he, it's not all the same artists actually. You can see there's an, someone called Adam Weber as well. But these are cool. I have a few of the signatures. I'm not too fussed with the shinies. I'm glad I have the whole collection of the standards. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, the trading card vending machine was really weird, Grey Man. Um, <laughs> that's what you want in a swimming pool is a trading card vending machine. But it was in the visitors area, so I didn't have to go swimming every time. Otherwise, I'd just be too exhausted to go to the vending machine after. <laughs> but they, these are some really nice cards. There's a great sentinel there. Um, what I like, when you get to the subsets, they're not special or anything, it's just the numbers continuing, but you have um, a Wolverine timeline series, which is pretty cool. 
So it starts with Captain America and you have him with the CIA and stuff like that. But my favourites are the Haunted Mansion cards. You have everyone dressed up in um, fancy dress, which is awesome. Beast is, uh, who is Beast? Frank, he's uh, ben Benjamin Franklin. He's got his kite and his key. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And you've got Colossus as... Yeah. Colossus there. He's as the Count Dracula. Yeah, Count Vampire. Cyclops as the Elvis Presley, obviously. I don't know why I started there. <laughs> Gambit as a Cajun cowboy, obviously. Iceman as a snowman. Professor X as the Wizard of X. And then you have Psylocke as a French maid. I mean, let's get her out and have a closer look. I mean, yeah, look, so she's just the French maid. But that's a very nice card, isn't it? I don't think you'd get away with a card like that nowadays. <laughs> and then you have Rogue as the Vampiress. Yes, the Vampiress. And I'm lucky enough to have a shiny of that as well. You have Storm as a Witch. Yep, yeah, just the Witch. Very cool. These are great. I really enjoy these cards. I love the idea of just them having a fancy dress party. And Wolverine is Captain Claw. But these are very cool. So that's the full set of those. Oh, yep. And I do have a few specials. I have the checklist twice. I have a special lethal weapons for Wolverine. That's really nice there. It's got a really nice shine to it. Um, I, I'm not sure how many of these there are. Uh, nine. So there are nine of those. I only have one, but I do have a special promo card, another Wolverine there. That's not bad for a promo card. And I have these two. These are alternate X's. So these match the card, so you'll get two for each person. So this Jean Grey in her evil outfit, I guess, but you also get her in a normal Jean Grey outfit, and the same with Cyclops, you get him in his Cyclops outfit and in, in an evil one. But these are embossed. I don't know if you can see the light hitting on those. Yeah. They're embossed. That's nice. I, any sort of gimmick like this on a trading card, I absolutely love, because I'm a sucker for a gimmick. Same with comics. Oh, and I did get this. I don't know where I got this. It must have been eBay. I don't know what pack it's from. Marvel Studios... It just says Marvel Studios Lamney cards. I've never heard of them. But I really like this when I saw this because it's Deadpool. But then when you turn it around, it's the back of Deadpool. I thought that was pretty cool. I think you got Deadpool, but... But uh, I just thought that was really cool to get the back of a character. So I just have him there. Next up, I have metal cards. These are quite expensive, so I didn't, have, I didn't get the whole set. Back in the day, you used to get five in a pack. And they were quite expensive back then. I mean didn't get a lot of pocket money to, to spend it all on just a couple of packs of cards was crazy but these are cool um I, why have i got two in there oh i've put them front and back for these i must have been running out of sleeves so i have some you get all different sets they've got different colors at the bottom but they're they're really nice um again i think i got this the very first ones i got were spider woman and rogue i believe but they're very, very nice. Uh, this She-Hulk is stunning. Um, that is absolutely stunning. Again, you wouldn't get cards like this anymore. I mean, they just, they're just the women are just not allowed to look like this anymore, are they? She's absolutely beautiful, and she's holding up some big, massive thing there. She's awesome. Um, so I've got a rogue one somewhere. It's Punisher 2099, Spider-Man 2099. So uh, I think it all depends on the colour underneath the word metal. It depends what group they're in. So these blue ones are all X-Men by the looks, although I've got another Deadpool there. Um, and with the metal cards, these are actually a game you can play. So it's top trumps as well. So you've got strength, intelligence, speed, fighting ability, stamina and energy blasts, which is pretty cool. Oh good, I'm glad you can see the embossed. I, just, I weren't too sure, but the embossed cards are awesome. So here's my rogue card. I've got oh, I've got two. Ah, so yeah, I've got two Iceman cards, and the reason I've kept both of them is I don't know if the light's picking it up, but one's purple and one's blue. This one's purple, and this one's blue. So I just kept them. I mean, I know there's it's nothing special. It's just 
they were running out of the correct ink when they were printing them, but I like them both, so I've kept them both. But there's Rogue. She is awesome. She's always been my favourite Marvel character. She's just so tough and so awesome. So the art on these isn't great, I'm not going to lie. The faces are a bit hit and miss. Um, but it's a nice collection. I, like I said, I don't have all of them. I have some some special cards, I think. I have some specials. Yeah, I have the blaster. The Yes, I have the two blaster sets, which is the same set. One's red. So let me just... I'm going to take one out. So there's Jean Grey. So you can see she's got red at the bottom, and it's all, all properly coloured. All the backgrounds are a nice colour. But then... I've got the same set again. This is the silver. This is the gold blasters. So I've got, you've got metal blasters. These are metal blasters, and these are gold blasters, and they're exactly the same. Same card, except with a lot less detail. You can see there's just so much less detail on the gold one. The background is just very, very simple. And there's 18 cards in a pack. You get Cable, Captain America, Cyclops, Gambit, Hulk, Human Torch, Iron Man, Jean Grey, and Punisher. And you also get Rogue. Oh, I should have shown you the Rogue one. Obviously being my favourite character. There's Rogue. She's awesome. This is the Rogue I like with the short jacket and the one-piece suit underneath. Oh, gorgeous. Where does that go? So yeah, uh, Storm, Thing, Thor, Spider-Man, Silver Surfer, Venom, War Machine, and Wolverine. And that goes there. So these are some nice cards. Ooh! Just dropped my light. So, uh, trying to get the light. The problem is, where they're shiny, the light, no matter where I put the light, it's just going to reflect off them, isn't it? So I'm trying to get the light so that it's just show, just showing them, and rather than... Mm, sorry about this. Can we see them? So, those are my metals with my specials, and these are, are these doubles. Oh no, these are some different ones. The backs are different, if you can see. These are just cards that just tell you what the backs of the other cards have on them. So they're the same cards again. They're called flashers for some reason. But they're cool. These are the ones I used to get from the vending machine at the swimming pool. The Marvel Masterpiece. What year are these? Uh, do, 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 1994. You used to get 10 cards in a pack. I believe 10. Yep. And I think they were about £1.50 which was awesome. And the artwork on these is gorgeous. I absolutely love these. My one pet peeve with trading cards is when you have a landscape trading card, I prefer to have the landscape trading card facing out of my binder because I think that's how you would look at it. You wouldn't turn the binder around, you would have the binder around clockwise. So I put them in that way. So they're facing that way. The problem is when you do that, the text on the back is then upside down. Can we see? So it's upside down compared to the ones that are done in portrait. So that's annoying because if I do put them up the right way, then I feel like they're facing the wrong way in my binder and I can't I can't have that. So I have to have them upside down on the back so they're facing out. But yes, these are some gorgeous some gorgeous gorgeous cards. absolutely stunning the artwork on these is gorgeous and I will note that it's not every single woman but most of them if you look at them they've all got actually I don't even think it's just the women it's the men as well they have one bent leg and one straight leg so bent straight bent straight and then you'll have fire star one leg straight one leg bent colossus one leg straight one leg bent Guardian, one leg, Jean Grey, 
it's so weird. Jubilee, Jack of Hearts, Invisible Woman. It's just every single one has this one bent leg and one straight leg. It's such a weird thing that I just randomly notice. And now it's all I see when I look at the cards. So yes, these are the, these are gorgeous cards. I don't have the entire set. I'm missing a few of them. But uh, I, I'll keep looking. And I'm getting packs on eBay. So when someone's selling a job lot, I'll get them. And then I have loads of doubles. But it's fine. That's the fun of collecting. That's what I really enjoy about collecting trading cards when I was younger. Because I used to buy the packs. And I used to open them. And I never used to know what was in them. So to have ten cards in a pack and just hope that you would get two or three that were not doubles was, oh, it was it was fun though as, as annoying as it was it was also fun because you then had the doubles i've put here see look he's upside down who's that night thrasher he looks pretty cool yeah he was up the wrong way um so yeah psylocke one straight leg one bent leg i've got two psylord cards why do i have two psylord cards i must have miscounted when i was putting them in because that's a double that needs to go <laughs> and um like with the other ones you get these signature cards. So I have two of these Punisher cards, and one is not signed and one is signed. So they're the Gold Foil Signature Series. I'm guessing they're signed by the artist, Greg and Tim. Him. I mean, I can't... Greg and Tim, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it, Greg and Tim. So um, I only have a couple of those. I don't even think I have enough, really, to mention. Um, there's my rogue. Look at her. Oh, she just gets beautiful and beautiful at every single card. Again, straight leg, bent leg. And Spider-Woman, look. Now look at that She-Hulk. Look at that. Stunning. Oh, these cards are so beautiful. Even the, even the bad guys, even the ugly bad guys. Look at that. It's awesome. So, yeah, I, I don't know why I've put two Psylords in there. Spider Woman. She was one of my first cards because I remember having that card for a very long time. Um, this was my first introduction to Thunderstrike. I thought he was just Thor, but because he was dressed pretty much like Thor. But I quite like Thunderstrike. I like the look of him. So these, when these were finished in the um, Jack of Hearts, looks odd, does he? Which one was Jack of Hearts? Where's Jack of Hearts? Jack of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, Jack of Hearts. Oh, I see. Oh, in that costume, I don't know what he looks like. I've never seen him in the in Marvel comics or the TV, so I'm not really sure if that's what he's meant to look like. It's a gorgeous card, though. So, yeah, once these were gone from the vending machine, because they, they weren't always the same cards, they left. And then we got... Oh, do I have... No, I don't have any specials for that. I, do just, I did just put a couple of hologram cards. See that? That's Sting. What are these from? These from a 1992 set. Just random. It's got a bit of a crease along the top. I must have got these in a set that I bought from somewhere. So I just, I've just bunged them. When I have random cards, I just put them in pages that are empty so I can just keep them. I have, an, I have a warlock that's signed up there. You can see that is signed. Um, so yeah, so when these left the vending machine, we got 95 flare annual cards. And these, my gosh, when I first got these, these came in boxes. And the box had uh, five, I think it was only five cards inside. And the reason there was only five is because they're, they're twice the thickness of a normal trading card. They're very, very thick. But they are gorgeous. Look at her, look at her face. It's absolutely stunning. These cards are just drop dead gorgeous, and I don't think I have a storm one, a uh, rogue one. I hope I do. Um, the one thing I did notice that I really don't like is Kitty Pride's face. Um, where they've put the shading on her lips, can you see that? It looks like she's got a moustache. She looks like Nick Fury. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like, the, looks like a playing card. That costume is kind of a 90s styling, I guess. Well, I think the cards are from the 90s. Um, yeah, the cards are from 1994, yeah. So I guess that, that's his 90s costume. 
Um, I have a Deadpool. I do have a Rogue. Oh, I'm so... I totally forgot. Oh, look at that. She's so beautiful. These cards are awesome. And they just have a little bit about them on the back. Again, I don't have the entire set of these. I buy them when I can... When I can find sets on eBay. I have a Deadpool as well. So, if I can find the individuals for a Deadpool and a Rogue all the time, I'll grab those. Some of them are not great. I mean... You get the likes of Rogue with a face like that. It's just absolutely beautiful. But then you get this Wolverine. And I know it's like it's broken claws and he's angry and he's hurt and stuff. But when you just compare the artwork on these two cards, it's just night and day. So these are pretty cool. I still have quite a few of the boxes. I kept the empty boxes because I put some doubles of some other cards in them. That's a great Vulture card. It's a great face on Vulture. So these, um, I think they have specials. Every pack has specials, doesn't it? But I don't think I have any specials. I don't think I have any specials at all for these. I'm probably going to be proven wrong. Oh, there's a great Iron Man there. And a Scarecrow. I mean, some of them are just absolutely beautiful. Look at that Vision card. Look at it. That is absolutely amazing. His face is just so good. So, um, I think there were some specials, were there? Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. See, but then again, see, and then you get a face like that. So, it is hit and miss with this set. This is another set that's really hit and miss. I mean, especially US Agent. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. So... The specials you get are, I've got a Spider-Man special, that's a, that's a Chromium, Chromium, so that's, that's a shiny you get there. So I have a Spider-Man, and I have a Thing for that special, yep, for the Chromium, you, there are 12, another, I've only got two, but that's, they're, they're pretty cool. You also get this special which is a power blast, so it's got the character on the back and then a close-up on the front with a bit of shine to it. So, I mean, they're all right. They're, they're fine. I've only got four of those. I've got the, mand the Mandarin. So there he is. And then you get a close-up. I've got the Mandarin. I've got Demon Goblin. Yes, shinies. Shiny ditties. I do like a shiny card. So I, um, I don't know who Demon Goblin is. Um, I don't know what comic he's from. But pretty cool. And then I have a Venom card. So these were the only specials that I got. These were, like I say, five in a pack. So to get a special card in a pack was very rare because you didn't really have that many going for you. And then, oh, and then we had also Hollow Blast cards. So I've got the Deadpool versus Juggernaut. And I've also got Spider-Man versus Scarlet Spider. And I've got Cable versus... Who's Cable versus? Nimrod. So these are hologram cards. And then I've also got Banshee versus... Phalanx, I think that says. So, these are very nice cards. Um, I prefer, if out of all the specials, I prefer the Hollow Blasts. I've also got Namor versus Namor versus Lyron. So he just looks like another Namor. He looks like the same person. I'm not sure who he is. And I think I have one more behind Deadpool. Who do I have? Gambit versus Sabretooth. That's a cool one. That's a cool one. But yeah, so I, I quite like the hologram cards. I've got... These are random cards that I've got. These I don't have any more of the set apart from these cards. So for this set, which is Skybox Marvel 1993, I've just got the Human Torch and I've got Spider-Woman. I only have those two cards there. And then for these cards, 
uh, what were these, Marvel Universe 94, I only have the Jubilee card and the White Witch card, uh, sorry, the White Queen card. I didn't get any more of these cards, those were the only ones that I ever found, I must have got them in a pack when I bought them. This, another page of randoms, this is just cards that I like, I've got a Rogue card, an X-Men card, this random one from Fox Kids, it's Rogue so I had to grab it. Must have come in sets, like I say, I'll just buy a random selection. Demon Goblin was a demon version of Hobgoblin Green Goblin. There you go. I d was that in the cartoons or the comics? I don't know. All my Spider-Man knowledge is really just from the cartoons, so I don't really know the comics that well. Um, these cards, I have all four of them. They came from Burger King. You got a figure and you got a trading card, and I only wanted the trading cards really. Um, what they are is, they are a little game of hide and seek. So you have your little finder, and you have your card. You put the finder underneath, and you have to find the certain characters. So you just use it like a little magnifying glass. And then you just find there's Wolverine, there's Cyclops, and there's Rogue in the corner there hiding. And you've got another... Whoa. Then you have... Another Wolverine there, another Rogue, another G another Cyclops, another Cyclops, and then Magneto, and so you just search around and you find them, and you got four of those. Um, I think obviously the picture on the back is different, yeah. So that was just a fun little thing. I kept all of them, and I kept I kept the finders with them all. This card, this came with a comic that I threw away. I don't know why I threw it away. Night Glider came with a Top Trumps card. Um, back before I really started collecting comics, I just had a load of them and I just threw them away randomly. And then you kind of wish that you didn't. It's another page of randoms. Um, this one, this came with an action figure that I bought. It was just in the back. Um, it didn't come with a Polaris action figure. It might have been Gambit or Storm, actually. Ah, so Demon Goblin is in Spider-Man comics from the late 90s. Ah, I'll have to go back and have a check, because I don't, I don't recognise him. I'll have to see what he looks like in the comic, because he looks very, very overly drawn in the trading card. Um, these, these three here may go in in a line, they can actually connect. And this makes up one long picture or one massive picture of a hundred odd cards I don't have. I think it makes up Spider-Man on the back. But again, they came in a set, I'll just buy anything. This, this is the back of a Marvel Metal card because I peeled the film off when I was young. Um, because I was trying to turn it into a pog, because I had a pog making machine. If anyone remembers pogs, you could put any picture you want, and I really wanted this storm face as a pog. So you can see the circle there, where I tried. I think the card might have just been slightly too thick. But I kept the back of that anyway. <laughs> um, this, I have some Mortal Kombat cards in the back there. Um, these binders, this binder is actually the Marvel Fact Files binder. 